Hey, hey, it's Rashida, and I'm here today to talk to you about career breaks again, because I love a career break. I want you to take a career break. It's some best life living. Career breaks are truly the cheat code to really being happy wherever you are. Take a break. Take some time for yourself. You deserve it. It's not selfish. You deserve it. And if it is selfish, be selfish, right? Like, it is the way to go. And so today we're talking about it. And we're going to talk about one of the questions I get a lot when people are in the planning process, which is, will I be able to get a job? Now, this is one of those fear-based questions. I get a lot of fear-based questions, but over and over again, I get people who are scared that they won't be able to get a job. So either after their break, so either they're not planning a break or they're really hesitant in their break planning and they're not walking confidently into it. They're walking very fearfully because they're like, Ooh, if I leave my job, I don't know. But the thing is most people who are taking a break are taking a break because they need one because that job that they don't want to wake, walk away from isn't treating them right right now. Right? Like the, what they're giving versus what they're getting just isn't enough to make them want to stay but they still are scared to leave. So today we're going to talk about how to deal with those feelings and the fears that come up around not being able to get a job when your career break is over. But first, yes, you'll be able to get a job. You will be able to get a job. My friend Mel Bailey said this once to me and it really stuck, which was um, I asked her in an interview, I'll link to Mel's interview, uh, Mel and Kyle, uh, I asked her how she felt about leaving her job. And she was like, well, I hated my job. I was confident that I could come back and get another job, but I hated just as much. So why wouldn't I leave? And now that is an extreme. Not all of you are going to hate your job, but unless you really, really love it, can't you get another job just like the one you have, right? Can't you get another job that makes you just as unhappy? Probably paying more right? Like why? You will be able to get a job. But the better question is, are you going to want a job after your career breaks? Have your interest shifted? Maybe you'll be more interested in either a different different field or entrepreneurship or something else. Uh, You might not want to do the thing you're doing right now. And giving your space, yourself, Time and space to decide that is one of the best things you can do for yourself on a career break. I always recommend that my clients give themselves the opportunity to start over from scratch. So some people aren't going to want to. They love their career. They've worked hard. They went to school. You know, they want to go back to the same thing and they're attached to it. And that's okay. And that's actually pretty wonderful if you really like it. But if you're not in love and like, dying to get back to the thing you did before, it's probably why you need a break, right? You're probably need a break because you're not so in love with what you're doing now. Give yourself that time on the break to figure out what you would love to do, how you would love to spend your time. Do you actually need to go back to work or can you support yourself not working for a while? A lot of my clients have money, real money. Hi, friends. Um, And even though they have a lot of money saved up, they're still scared to take the break. And it's like, you can't put your mental health on hold for money forever, right? Like if you are on the precipice of needing a break where your body or your brain are going to tell you, no, baby, you taking a break today, whether you want to or not, this is involuntary, like lay it down. Your body will tell you that when you need it, right? If that's not what you want to happen, but you know you're stressed and you need some time off, don't trade the stability of a paycheck or the idea that like you have to have that constant flow of money if you already have money saved and you can support yourself for however long you plan on being on your break with the money you have. Like do not trade your mental health for money. It's just not worth it because- Sooner or later, you're going to need to take a break. And like I said, it can be voluntary or involuntary. Take a voluntary break, plan for it, live it up. But okay, so you know you want to get back in the job market. Here are five steps to get you back on the right foot. First, 
make sure you're ready. This is really important. And related to what I said above, if you're entering the job market after a career break, you really got to actually want a job. Like searching for a job when you don't want a job. Haven't we all been there? I know I have. Like I don't even, I'm applying for these places. I'm going to interviews and I really want to tell them it's leave me alone. Like, don't talk to me. Don't ask me anything. I don't want to be here. The way you're acting, you don't want me to be here either. So could we just wrap this up? Um, make sure you want a job and make sure that the specific jobs you're applying for are jobs you want, or you'll bring the wrong energy into your applications and your interviews. I definitely did that. You got to be positive. You got to be pumped. You got to be ready to kick ass in every job seeking communication if you're going to get back on the market. If that's not where you are, let's look at alternatives. Step number two, tell everyone you can that you want to re-enter the job market. Really important. Tell them all, I'm ready. I was on a break. Break is over. Let's go. Now, I don't want you to re-enter the job market, but this isn't about me. This is about what you want. So let your people know that your career break is ending. You're searching for a job and connect with people, um, new people in your field, in your industry. Connect with the new people, connect with the old people, connect with all the people. When you're looking for a job, you can't let pride get in the way of letting everyone know you're looking because you never know your cousins, your third grade teacher, your old boss's boss. Everyone should know because everybody knows somebody, Right. Um, if you keep your job search to yourself, you're tying one hand behind your back. And this is not the time for that. Like use your networks, create new networks, tell people what you're looking for. All right. Update your, your all right. it's time to update your LinkedIn. First, LinkedIn rolled out a new feature that allows you to add some context around your career break. You can say why you took a break. Health and wellness is one option. Caretaking for someone else is another option. Career breaks are not something to be ashamed of. Most employers, in my experience, most individuals who are doing the interview process look at career breaks like, oh, dang, I wish I could take one, right? Most humans know that a break is pretty awesome and they want one. So don't be afraid. Update your LinkedIn. Tell people you're on a career break, but you're ready now. Um, LinkedIn also has a function that allows you to mark your account as looking for a job in a way that recruiters can see it. So turn that on so the recruiters don't have to wonder if you're looking or not. Change your headline on LinkedIn to clearly state that you're seeking a job. This is another way to let everyone know you're looking. All right. Next on the list, update your resume. Okay. Yes, obvious. But it's a little more of an updating your resume to highlight your last role. Make sure you update it with the time you took off, what you experienced while you were away, everything you learned, every life lesson you stumbled on. Add those all to your resume. So when you're speaking to hiring managers, they'll have a clear idea of what you did between jobs. And truly, if that was rest and relaxation, go ahead and put that there. Let them know that you're coming into the job as your best self. Like, let that be a positive. I took off time so that in the future, I could be a better employer, a better employee. Now, that might not be why you took the time off. It's probably not why you took the time off. But tell them that. Tell them that you are showing up whole. You were stressed at your last job, but now you're rested. You're relaxed. You took three months off. You took a year off. And now you're like, boom, ready to get it. But, you know, don't stress. If you've taken time off to live a life of your dreams, you're someone who gets shit done right? To be able to get to a career break, you make things happen and the job search won't be any different, right? You'll get it done. You'll get it done well. Don't doubt yourself. Believe in your ability to get what you want. Okay. I am a career break expert, a career break coach. I help people with this all day long. There are three ways to work with me. You can grab my free sabbatical planning guide in the description below. You can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I'll sit down, look at your plan, Look for holes, look for things you could do differently. Try to make sure that your plan is as holistic from top to bottom, beginning to end as it can be. We can do that in an hour, we sit down, we work it out. The other thing is I run a year long career break program and move abroad. I help people when they wanna move abroad as well. It's called From Brown to Bliss and it's full of women who are changing their life. It's full of community. We get together once a month for group coaching and group coaching is so special. Like there's a lot of magic there. The women get together and they're very supportive of each other, but not just that they're helping each other with ideas. They're providing ideas and their questions are providing inspiration for other people. So there is magic in group coaching. I believe in it strongly and I offer it in From Burnout to Bliss. 
All of those ways, those three ways of working with me are available in the description below. So I hope you'll take advantage of those and I'll be talking to you soon.